In this video, we'll look at the initial steps that you could take to prepare your database for import to RLP Sphere. Whether or not you currently use a CRM, which stands for Client Relationship Manager, the easiest way to get your database into RLP Sphere will be to import a CSV file. A CSV file is essentially a form of spreadsheet. The vast majority of CRMs available today work with CSV files when importing and exporting databases. For example, if you're in Excel, you can save your spreadsheet by choosing Save As instead of just Save. From the Format menu, choose CSV or comma-separated values. The resulting file can be imported into most CRMs, including RLP Sphere. If you currently use a CRM, you can likely download your entire database in a CSV format. You should start by searching the help section of the platform you're currently using or contact their support team. If you're new to CRMs, it's really easy to start from scratch. Regardless of whether you're starting fresh or working from an exported file, you'll need your spreadsheet to look a certain way in order for it to be uploaded to RLP Sphere. So open your browser and navigate to bit.ly slash RLP Sphere dash template to get started. This template shows the columns that RLP Sphere will read from your file when you upload it. When you upload a CSV into a new CRM, the application reads the words in this top row, then takes the data below each title into separate contact cards for each person. Since each CRM has different fields and different titles for those, it's important that this top row matches the template in your file, and the data in the column below the title matches the purpose of the title. In this template, only a few are mandatory, but it'll give you some tips to make your upload efficient with minimal work you need to do once your upload is complete. Before you make any changes to this template, go to File and click Make a Copy, if you want to work in Google Sheets, or download if you want to work in Excel or Apple's numbers. If you already have a database in a spreadsheet format, you'll be copying columns from your original file into this template. It's really important that you keep your original untouched as a backup. If you're starting from scratch, just delete the examples in this template and start filling in the names of everyone you know. They don't need to be in any particular order as long as everything in the row matches the same person. Alphabetical sorting or anything like that isn't necessary at this point. We recommend that these columns are mandatory. First name, last name, email, status, hashtags, cell phone, deal type. We'll also touch briefly on email opt-in, text on, and phone on. The others all have their various levels of importance based on your business and the information that you may have on them. By the way, this is an excellent opportunity for you to consider each person in your database, recategorize them as needed, and maybe reach out to them to fill gaps or when you realize it's been way too long since you last connected with that person. Under status, you'll see the options available to you in the list here. No other status will be accepted and you must choose one. If you're unsure of which label to assign to a specific person, I recommend putting them in as sphere. For hashtags, you can use unlimited hashtags and you can make them up as you go along. You'll learn more about these as you get into RLP sphere, but in essence, they allow you to take deeper dives in identifying differentiating factors for your database. For example, you could add investor to be able to quickly access anyone you've identified as potentially interested in buying a flip or a rental property. Maybe you want to identify a certain group of people by their lead source being Facebook lead or be able to quickly access anyone that's a past client. There's no limit to the number of hashtags you can assign to a person. There are two really important things to note about putting hashtags in this field on this sheet. Make multiple word tags one word. So for example, as you can see here, if you want to add the hashtag Facebook lead, type it as Facebook lead with no space. Insert a vertical line in between the tags. The vertical line can usually be found above the slash key, which is above the return key on your keyboard. Then type the next tag. Make sure there's no spaces. The second most important part, 
Don't type the hashtag symbol before you type the tag. RLP Sphere will do this for you in the import. For deal types, choose one of the options on this list. It may be helpful to identify them by their active status or maybe their last completed status. If you want to assign more than one, you can, once again, separate them by that vertical line found above the slash key above the return key on your keyboard. If nothing else, make sure that these three columns are all set to true. If the complete word true is missing or incomplete from any of your entries, any texts or emails RLP Sphere tries to send to them on your behalf will not go through. Your database is the foundation of your business. There's no better opportunity than now to ensure that your database is as strong as possible. That completes this tutorial on preparing your database for RLP Sphere.